although it is commonly overlooked, the sense of smell and the sense of taste are actually incredibly vital human sensory functions that are important to us in many different ways, in particular, the sense of smell. So from enjoying food or sharing a meal with family or friends to your spouse's perfume or cologne, or even sniffing a flower, your sense of smell helps you on the daily basis. Oftentimes, you may not even recognize that you're using your sense of smell, but in certain instances, the sense of smell can be incredibly helpful, such as letting you know when the garbage needs to be taken out or something has gone bad in your refrigerator, like spoiled milk or rotten food. In even more severe instances, however, the sense of smell can be really important and help you detect something alarming, such as smoke from a fire or even something as harmful as toxic chemicals or fumes. Beyond the obvious attributes of smell, like using this unique sense to smell a meal or a flower or your favorite perfume, as it turns out, this unique sense has broad ranging impacts on well being and quality of life. Though to some people, the changes in sense of smell and the changes in sense of taste may not be very bothersome, to others, these can lead to substantial issues with your health and generalized quality of life. Perhaps even nutritional deficits or something as severe as depression or anxiety, both of which are incredibly real. As it turns out, in many instances, we do not realize how important this very important sense is. There are many causes of the loss of sense of smell and the sense of taste. Like many senses, smell loss and taste loss do occur commonly with increasing age and it's part of the normal aging process. However, there are many conditions that we as ear, nose and throat surgeons or otolaryngologists treat that cause loss of sense of smell and taste. Examples include chronic sinus infections or chronic inflammation of the sinuses or nasal passageways, nasal polyps, or even other growths in the nose. It's also possible that upper respiratory infections, such as that which we have seen with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, may cause somewhat acute and quick changes in the ability to smell or taste. Finally, in many cases, we don't know exactly what causes the loss of sense of smell or the sense of taste, and oftentimes we cannot find the ultimate source of the issue. In a recent study, we examined a large database to demonstrate that even beyond what we consider to be standard health risk factors, such as being overweight, having a heart or lung issues, smoking or diabetes, changes in the sense of smell and taste are actually a good indicator of patient frailty. Frailty is a way to describe someone's overall ability to deal with and respond to different health stressors and health problems. This suggests the sense of smell and the sense of taste can actually serve as a barometer of your overall health status. Though this study did not look at a cause and effect relationship, it further highlights the importance of smell and taste in our daily lives. Along with additional research investigations looking at broad surveys of patients, along with my partners were actively involved in figuring out how to identify and manage patients with smell loss. Though the changes in the sense of smell and taste continue to be very difficult clinical problems to treat, this will be a very important area of continued research and something we will continue to investigate closely here at Johns Hopkins. Thanks for listening in.